Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a fun little mini series where I'm going to focus on a cartridge that I just have never covered, at least at the range. And I think you guys are going to really like this. So today's video, I'm taking the 7mm Remington Magnum to the range. We're going to load it up with a 180 grain Hornady ELDM, so an ELD match bullet. And the person that owns the gun, his objective is to be able to match 7mm PRC velocity. And for me, I want to prove a comment wrong that I received two years ago. Now, a couple years ago, I did a cartridge comparison which included the 7mm Remington Magnum. And I provided load data from Nosler's book with a 175 grain class bullet. And Nosler says you can get with Reloader 22, 2,970 feet per second, and that's with a 24 inch barrel. And I had someone comment basically saying I was off into the night thinking that a 7 millimeter Remington Magnum with a 175 grain bullet could get 2,970 feet per second. Now, don't really care about the 7 millimeter Remington Mag, but I really think it is possible. In fact, I know it's possible. And so in today's video, we're going to kind of dub this as Project 2,970 feet per second. So we're going to take the 180 grain Hornady ELDM and see how fast we can get it. We'll also test for groups. Let's see how it does. Here is a look at the rifle that's chambered in 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. This is a Browning X-Bolt and it does actually have a 1 in 8 twist, so he should be able to stabilize these 180 grain ELDMs. The barrel length is 26 inches, so I'm expecting some good velocities. He did load the 180 grains basically at the land, so there will be no jump. How to do? It's about an inch and a half. As he said, an inch and a half group. He did do four shots. I didn't film the fourth one. The first three shots were the farthest ones apart, so it didn't really group well. Oh. <laughs> Gave the 7 mag a break, and hey, I brought my not-so-trusty 270 Winchester doing hammer bullets again. Hopefully, we can get them to shoot better. And this is a Lucid Optic Scope. How much of the allotted time do most of the kids take? I got it. It's unlocked. The metal will come slowly, but the kids will move. First group with the hammer bullets is not too bad. Two basically in the same hole and then another one, I don't know, maybe a three quarter inch group away. So this is pretty nice. Last group with the hammer bullets. Um, it's not too bad of a group. Now ignore the top right bullet hole. That's from another cartridge. So it looks to be about an inch group. Twenty nine oh three. 
how it changes your life. Like, it's just smooth. No freaking way. When I was in the world, that people didn't even see that it was. Uh, that far back. Holy. What did it do? It's one hole, all three are touching. 61 grains of IMR 4831. But that's quarter MOA or smaller. Really incredible. 2918. Back from the range and I want to look first at the 270 Winchester group with the hammer bullets. This is promising. This is the first time I've had the hammer bullets get sub M away uh, in this 270. And so it's a three quarter inch group with 60 grains of H4831 SC and it's a muzzle velocity of 3200 feet per second. Now let's look at the next group and it's not bad. So I went up a half a grain and I got right at one inch. So not bad. I mean, I could use this for hunting if I really wanted to, but I really want these to be sub MOA, not just MOA. But overall, some good progress with the hammer bullets. Now for the official measurement for the seven millimeter Remington mag with that 180 grain ELDM. Very impressive. That's under quarter MOA. And he measured again and actually got into the teens. So it's a little below 0.2 inches. Really awesome. Unfortunately, we did not hit our goal of 2,970 feet per second. We got pretty close with powders, I think, produce slower velocities than Reloader 22. So 29.38 is pretty darn good for a 180 grain and a 7 mag. So... Part two will be coming in a week, and we are going to see what we can get with Reloader 22. I'm sorry I wasn't able to load this in time for today's video, but we're going to prove that commenter wrong.